Hello and you're very welcome back to 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle for the first episode of 2021. As always explaining as simply as possible the world around us. I hope you've all had an enjoyable Christmas and a happy new year. To start off the year we look back on 2020 from Covid to tsunamis, from earthquakes to explosive volcanoes. We will look back on the biggest natural disasters of 2020. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video where I'll be announcing the winner of our first ever 5 Minute Geography Christmas competition. A typhoon kills 42 people in the Philippines. It began on November the 13th as Typhoon Vamco made landfall in Manila and nearby provinces, killing a total of 42 people. This typhoon was the deadliest of the 21 the country has experienced in 2020 and resulted in the worst flooding the region has ever seen. The volcanic eruption in the Philippines. This is located on the infamous Pacific Ring of Fire. The Philippines constantly faces natural disasters from earthquakes to volcanic eruptions. The tourist attraction and one of the country's most active volcanoes, Tal, erupted on the 12th of January, forcing hundreds and thousands of people to evacuate the area. The land was covered in ash and killing a total of 39 people. An earthquake in Turkey killed 41 people. On the 24th of January, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake hit the eastern region of Turkey, killing 41 people, according to the National Center for Environmental Information. The earthquake displaced thousands and is one of many earthquakes the region has experienced in 2020. The region, which is located on a fault, is especially active to earthquakes due to its location on these tectonic plates. <laughs> The flash floods in Indonesia, killing 66 people. Coming into the new year, Indonesia's capital saw some of the heaviest rain recorded in the previous 20 years. As a result of this heavy rainfall, landslides and flash flooding displaced hundreds of thousands of people, resulting in the deaths of at least 66. January's flooding in the capital city, often described as a sinking city, was one of a handful of floods that plagued Indonesia in 2020. Hurricane Lara killed 77 in the US, Dominican Republic and Haiti. There it goes. Hurricane Lara swept through the island of the Hispaniola, hitting Haiti and the Dominican Republic before making landfall on the 27th of August 2020 in parts of Louisiana and in Texas, killing a total of 77 people across three countries. This storm holds a record for the strongest wind in Louisiana's history. Cyclone Amphan kills more than 85 people. On the 20th of May, India and Bangladesh were hit by a cyclone, killing more than 85 people. Millions of people were evacuated because of this storm. This was one of the biggest storms of the region in the past decade. Before making landfall, Amphan was the strongest storm ever recorded in the Bay of Bengal, but weakened considerably as it reached the land. The flash floods kill more than 150 people in Afghanistan. Flash floods in northern Afghanistan killed 150 people on the 26th of August. Already hit badly by the COVID-19 pandemic and recent Taliban attacks, the region then faced hundreds of injured individuals and catastrophic damage. Hurricane Etta On the 3rd of November, Hurricane Etta devastated countries in Central America, killing at least 150 people. The deaths were recorded in Honduras, Guatemala, Mexico, El Salvador, Panama, Nicaragua and Costa Rica. The hurricane came toward the end of one of the worst Atlantic hurricane seasons on record, with 2020 being the second year ever to require using letters from the Greek alphabet. Of 
Australia's bushfires. Australia's bushfires kill at least 478 people. Although the Australian bushfire began in 2019, they continue to devastate the country's state of New South Wales well into March of 2020. The fire season, one of the worst on record for the country, burned more than 13 million acres and directly killed at least 33 people, according to the BBC. The smoke alone is attributed to at least 445 deaths. Locust swarms in East Africa and parts of India. Millions of desert locusts have swarmed five states in India and they were captured on videos. These videos are quite scary and surreal. They were first detected in the eastern region of Africa and then moved towards Pakistan. The deadly locusts do not affect humans, but they do cause massive damage to crops and are very scary to see. The European windstorms. Europe is not only one of the worst affected continents due to the pandemic, but also due to natural disasters in 2020. The European continent was struck by windstorm Kira and Alex that cost just under six billion dollars and kill 30 people. The worst part is that extra tropical cyclones are expected to hit Europe more often as temperatures rise due to global warming. Antarctica's snow turns green. Parts of the frozen continent are turning green, all thanks to climate change and massive algae bloom. According to a new research, warming temperatures and melting snow in the continent are helping the formation of algae bloom, which are expanding at high rates, thereby turning many areas of the beautiful white snow green. The phenomenon is becoming so prolific in some places that it is even visible from space. A huge congratulations to Carly Floody, who has won the wonderful prize of a tandem skydive. I want to thank Carly and everybody who has subscribed for their continued support of the channel. This year, we start our second season of Five Minute Geography, and already people have been contacting, suggesting topics. Could I ask, please, if you have any suggestions or any topics you'd like covered, just pop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.